Of the 1,500 patients Ross and Neil placed on Greyhound, 500 were sent to California. David Thiessen landed at Ross and Neil after threatening to kill himself. Just days later, he was placed on a bus to San Francisco, even though he had never been to California and knew no one there. They picked me up with a knife this big saying, yeah, I don't want to hurt anybody, but I don't know what else to do. Three days later, they're putting me on a bus and going, bye. I never should have been let go. It's dangerous just putting some of these people on a bus and going, all right, get out of here. Somebody suddenly jumps up on the bus and attacks someone because they were a mental patient. Well, I guarantee you they were probably getting shipped from somewhere else to somewhere else just to be gotten rid of. When Thiessen arrived in San Francisco, he found a shelter and eventually this room in a single room occupancy hotel, all paid for by the city. So I'm very fortunate that San Francisco, they had me in bed within three days. There was a place where I would be able to leave my stuff and I could go out and look for work. And now San Francisco's city attorney, Dennis Herrera, has filed a separate lawsuit against Nevada to have the city reimbursed for these costs. It has been urban legend here in uh, the city of San Francisco that people were exporting individuals, homeless individuals, to San Francisco for decades, essentially forcing California taxpayers to shoulder the financial burden that rightfully should have been shouldered by um, uh, the state of Nevada. Herrera calculates San Francisco taxpayers have paid $500,000 for the services the city has provided to the former Ross and Neal patients. Okay, 120 over 72. We have a very robust nonprofit sector that works to provide services and they do a great job and their interplay with what we do officially as a city has been a model for what other jurisdictions should uh, be about. And that's what makes this all the more tragic, is that San Francisco, which does its best and really tries to step up, in effect was being penalized by the state of Nevada uh, exporting its responsibilities without them investing in trying to provide the same level of service that San Francisco or other jurisdictions did. They just said, hey, it's not our problem. You guys deal with our issue. Herrera says San Francisco is already struggling to accommodate the more than 7,000 homeless in the city, many with mental health needs. San Francisco spends nearly half a million dollars per day on services for the homeless, yet the city's shelters can supply just one bed for every five adults in need. Thiessen was lucky enough to find long-term shelter. Three years after arriving, he has made San Francisco his home, and he continues to receive support from the city. Now, he just wants a job. I'm just trying to get back into a kitchen. I've been a cook and a baker for over 35 years. Uh, yeah, I plan on staying here. I think the core issue gets down to a failure of state governments to invest as they should in providing care for mentally ill patients that they really should. I don't accept at all anybody saying, well, you know what, we had resource problems and we couldn't take care of the problem. No, you could, because we, we are all doing it here in California in uh, tough financial circumstances uh, as well. I think we all have responsibilities. And it doesn't mean that you shirk your responsibility by making it somebody else's problem. <laughs>